Good morning guys, welcome back to another festive vlog. I slept on my hair wet and it's um, really annoying me because it's still kind of damp and it's literally frozen outside and we're about to head out and I'm gonna be freezing. But apart from that, everything is all good. I'm gonna film another what I eat in a day gluten free today. Um, it's the weekend so it's a little bit different to what I eat when I'm at work but relatively similar because I'm still trying out this new routine um, because of the health issues that I'm having. So I'm actually like kind of scared to try new foods because I don't want to have a gluten reaction because it absolutely messes me up. But it's 10 past 10 haven't eaten, done a bit of yoga, done a bit of editing. I'm gonna have some hot lemon water right now. So my kinesiologist suggested to the max amount of time I should drink before a meal was about 15 to 20 minutes. No water or drinks during meals, which I find so hard. Didn't realize how much I drank when I ate because um, it, it lowers digestion. So, and, and then to wait about an hour after so fuzzy really annoying um until i have another drink so we're gonna start with some lemon water and then i think i'm gonna really quickly i don't know if i've got enough time make some homemade granola it's gonna be quite a boring granola because i can't have nuts um because i cannot digest them at all at the moment there's obviously like i've there's some damage going on in my digestion tract and i can't have too many sweet things so I would normally put dried fruits in, but they're really also triggering my stomach to be quite uncomfortable. So it's just going to be a plain, a plain granola, but I'm really looking forward to it because I just want some yogurt, some fruit and some warm granola. I thought that would be lovely. Clifton, it feels really Christmassy today because it's really frosty. I've got a bag of fruit and veggies from one of the local fruit shops. 
It's actually already half past two, I haven't had any lunch, but I have a disgusting acid reflux and I really don't want that much to eat. So I'm probably just gonna have a really, really light lunch that's protein based because I just don't think I can manage anything really starchy today. Um, and we've got quite a heavy dinner, so my parents are coming around, well, my dad and my stepmom and my sister are coming around. And I'm doing like a peppercorn pasta sauce, so it's quite heavy. So I'm just gonna have to have something light, I think, at some point. I actually might take a digestive enzyme a minute to help with this reflux that is going on. Um, it's something that my kinesiologist suggested. I wouldn't take these unless you've actually been like prescribed them by someone professional. I'll show you guys what we picked up from the free shop. So we got some rhubarb sticks. I might make a rhubarb crumble later, I'm not too sure. Some fresh rhubarb. We got a massive fresh ciabatta, that's not for me, because obviously I can't eat it, but I'm gonna make a garlic and parsley butter for everyone a bit later on. Um, what else did we get? Oh, I got some red currants, which are very festive, because I'm gonna make some red currant and rosemary ice cubes for Christmas day, so. Yeah, picked up some of them because you can't always get them in the shop. Um, I bought some persimmon fruits, which are in season right now, so I'm excited to have those. What else did we pick up? Sam has green apples. I hate green apples, so they're not for me. I did get a brownie apple for if I do a crumble, though. And look how big these carrots are. Or two massive carrots because we always use carrots in this house. Um, what else have I got? I bought a dragon fruit, which I'm excited about. And Sam got some bits from the bakery, so we'll have a look at them in a minute. Ah. Oh, you got a cannoli. I love these, but I wasn't sure if they're gluten free, so I didn't get one. Um, and Sam also picked up a massive pot sausage roll from the deli. Obviously not for me. We got a bag of grapes. Oops, more apples. little clementines which are in season right now as well it's really good to eat seasonal veg because that's when your body actually needs the vitamins from those vegetables um, and that's what your body normally craves in the winter so it's really important to focus on them as they are in season and then I also picked up some turmeric I can never find a turmeric stick anywhere so quite excited to find that because in the mornings when I have that hot lemon, I'm probably going to add some ginger and turmeric to it. By good eggs, they do smell different. Oh my god, this is so nice. Mm. So I absolutely 
got carried away with all my family here and didn't film anything we had for dinner even though it was delicious and i probably will remake i made a peppercorn pasta which was so good um so i'll probably film that at some point but i thought i'd film what we're having tonight instead i've just finished work it's really late i ended up going home late and then my mum broke down and just got back really late but i'm making a chicken and leek pie kind of pie so the last time i made this I didn't know I had a gluten intolerance, so we just used puff pastry. But the last puff pastry I tried that was gluten free was really bad, and I wasn't a fan. So I'm gonna do a chicken and leek pie and then top it with some sliced potatoes. I might may even put some breadcrumbs in right at the end, just to make it crispy, because um, I've got some gluten free bread that I needed to use for a while. But I'll show you guys how I'm going to make it and what I'm using because it's really really easy and it's such like a comforting winter meal it's been, it's been horrible raining dark all day so this is kind of what I've been fancying all day long so I will show you how to make it so I've got two leeks that I've washed which I will slice in a moment I'm going to use one of the Cleo I don't actually know how you say that um chicken stock chicken stock cubes these ones are gluten, gluten and lactose free, so they're amazing and they're really, really good stock, super tasty. One garlic clove, because I love the taste of leeks, I don't want it to be taken away from the garlic clove. I'm using this plant-based cream. We just always use this one rather than normal cream. We always have done, so I'm sticking with that. We've got our potatoes parboiling. So I slice them really thin and they're parboiling for about 10 minutes and then I'll put them on top once the pie is made. I also cooked a small chicken crown and I'm gonna use this chicken in the pie instead of cooking the chicken with this. Um, this was just cheaper to buy a chicken crown and I'm gonna shred it all and then add it to the mix before we pop it in the oven. And it's got really good skin on which I will probably just peel off. It's so crunchy. Sorry if you're vegan right now. <laughs> I know, but it's so good. Mm. My hair is looking greasy. My hair is looking real greasy. Oh. No, there is no denying. I'm gonna end my vlog with my little um, candy kittens from my advent calendar. Have you eaten your advent calendar today, Sam? No, I didn't have my one yesterday either. Oh, I didn't either, but I took mine to work. So I had watermelon ones for work and I don't know what these ones are. These little ones. I'm just trying to cheer to you, 
I want, can you get me some um, candy kittens for Christmas? <laughs> I actually look really unwell. Um, I'm mega tired. But that's the end of my what I eat in a day. Gluten free. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.